Hustling. Hustling, 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 hustling. Picture this on me. Sweet up and down of some rapid untamed rhythm. We done did that and then some. Some of this, some of that. Hustle music. Hustle music from folks who be always be up before the sun. Folks who get up to get down, to get going, who be flowing like Zambezi Limpopo ripples ever since 16th century currents and crosswinds, ever since they stood upright, hustling, spoke the first words, hustling, gazed with midnight eyes and told the first lies, older than the flow of human blood and human veins, hustling. Resolute in its darkness, hark, who be goes there, hustling, who be goes there, hustling.
hustling. He be hustling, he be hustling, hustling, hustling. Hustling music motion people making magic John Henry style. Picking ax, blue ox, and never can say goodbye. Why? Cause it be hustle time. Whole note, half note, eighth note, quarter note, sixteenth note. It be hustle time. Then they start to wonder whether it is nobler in the mind to hustle. The slings and arrows to accumulate for others outrageous fortunes or to take arms and legs and thighs and pink slips and red letters and final notices. Move your bodies for landlords and overlords and praise the Lord. Land of Goshen. Hustle music, motion picture taking, quick and quick and shaking. Magic making, move your bodies like tithing baskets and white flights. Move your bodies or else. Some toxic memory animated by its mere motion. Reckon you'll find rhythm. We reckon you'll find rhythm in the very capillaries of the ooze people. Them darker than blues people. Come up from one of the Carolinas by way of Brooks or Wheatley, by way of desire and grace of God, by dint of destiny and habitus. The secret place where time and knowing was first time and known. Hustling. Hustling. up to get down, get going, who be flowing like Congo, Bongo, Deglo, Ripples, currents and crosswinds from cocoa flavored conjure folk, warriors and wet nosers who be hustling, they be them old blood people, ancient and featherless from some remote corner of some remark, remote darkness, hark, who be goes there, hustling, hustling, hustling.
sunflower on my right is Miss Ryan Norman. The chrysanthemum on my left is Miss China Clark. The wildflower in the middle is Brother Ramon Flowers. Anansi tries to steal all the wisdom in the world. A fable from the Ashanti people of West Africa. Anansi the spider knew that he was not wise. He was very clever and could outwit many different people, but he knew he did not have much wisdom. This bothered him a great deal, but he did not know what to do about it. Then one day, Anansi had a clever thought. I know, he said, to no one in particular. If I can get all the wisdom in the village and put it in a hollow gourd, I will be very wise indeed. I will be the wisest of all. So he set out to find a suitable gourd and then began making his journey to collect the village's wisdom. He went from door to door asking everyone to give some of their wisdom. People chuckled at poor Anansi, for they knew that of all of the creatures, it was he that needed some wisdom the most. So each put a bit in his gourd and wished him well on his search. Soon, very soon, Anansi's gourd was overflowing with wisdom, and he could hold no more. He now needed a place to store it. I am certainly the wisest person in the world now. But if I don't find a good hiding place for my wisdom, I may surely lose it. He looked around and spotted a tall, tall tree. He first took a cloth band and tied it around his waist. Then he tied the heavy gourd to the front of his belly where it would be safe. And he began to climb. He began to climb. However, the gourd full of wisdom kept getting in the way. He tried and tried and tried, but he could not make progress around it. Soon, Anansi's youngest son walked by. Uh, what are you doing, father? Asked the little spider. Uh, I'm climbing this tree with my gourd full of wisdom, Anansi replied. But father, said the son, wouldn't it be much easier if you tied the gourd behind you instead of in front? Anansi sat there quietly for a very long time and finally said, shouldn't you be going home now? <laughs> the son skipped down the path and when he had disappeared, Anansi moved the gourd so that it was behind him and proceeded up the tree with no problems at all. When he had reached the top, he cried out, I walked all over and collected so much wisdom that I am the wisest person ever. But still, my baby son is wiser than me. Take back your wisdom. He lifted the gourd high over his head and spilled its contents into the wind. The wisdom blew far and wide and settled across the land. And this is how wisdom came into the world.